Welcome, Mr. Ruby. Uh, first question, I think many people ask themselves, why did you come to Antwerp of all places? Um, because the group that I work with, um, we were looking at different football clubs around the world who have different advantages in terms of potential and growth. And um, Belgian football at the moment is very hot in Europe. And uh, Antwerp is a great city and it's a great opportunity. Yeah. What was your first contact? Um, it was uh, through a mutual friend of uh, myself and Mr. Paul Bistio. Paul Bistio? Yes, that's right. And he came to you or...? Oh, we, we spoke to each other. Mm -hmm. We spoke to each other and then uh, it transpired that there might be an opportunity to be involved with a football club and we decided it was a great opportunity. Yeah. Now, people in Antwerp are suspicious because of the past, because of the uncertainty about your motivation, maybe. Why does Saif Ruby um, put his money in, into Antwerp? Well, again, it's not my money. It's so not your money. It's not my money. It's a group that I work with. I'm just purely um, an advisor, and obviously I'm behind the project because of my football background. Um, the reason why Antwerp is because it's a, a club with great history. You say it's a group of people. Mm -hmm. Is that a group uh, with its, its roots in, in London, in England, or I, I in think, Antwerp? I, I think it's important when there is a consortium in any business, especially in football, to have a combination of groups, which is um, a very solid local foundation. Local. Local, so, which, so we have, which we have in, in, in Belgium and Antwerp. And you mix it up with an international flavor that hopefully will be able to bring some great experience and expertise to doing things in the right way. And is that a 50-50 uh, thing or? No, there isn't, listen, there isn't a, a, an exact percentage because all of the people involved are focused on one thing and that's helping, you know, the great old become the great new. <laughs> yeah, you want to go further, you want to take, because you were presented as an agent, but now with your group... But I am uh, an agent, I'm still an agent. You're still an agent. Of course, I mean, my, I'm an agent, but of course I have responsibilities with the group to guide and advise in the right way to see the best way of how we can move forward with this great club. Yeah, um, and that group wants to take over the club, is that right? Yeah, an offer has been made. I mean, the financial difficulties of the club over the years have been well documented, especially over the last couple of years of how things have gone. And, you know... You know exactly what kind of financial problems there are? We have an idea, and but to fully understand all the problems and be able to deal with them and address them, obviously we would need to um, be fully in control and able to do that. Otherwise, our hands are tied. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, Mr. Hoffman's uh, made an offer, so you appear to be enemies now. No, we're not enemies. There's no... You know, Mr. Hoffman is a good man and... What you know, if he says no to your offer? If he says no, then it's up to him to deal with the uh, situation at the club. And I wish him all the best and our involvement in terms of the cooperation agreement would still stand as it's fully legal. So nothing would change there. Is his group, the group around Mr. Hoffman's, part of that uh, Belgian concern? Um, no. I mean, if, if it was a... So he has to leave? Um, I wouldn't say he has to leave in that respect. I mean, obviously, if, he's, if he decides to walk away and uh, let us assume the responsibility of taking care of the club's finances going forward and creating a new future and a great future for the club, then great. But we'll see. That's, that's, that's something to be decided. Yeah. Rumours say that you have excellent contacts with the former president, Mr. Walters, and he would be willing um, to drop his financial claims or to close a fair deal with you. Um, again, I mean, I, I wouldn't say things about excellent relations and things like that. The only thing I'm motivated to doing is to make sure the club doesn't go out of business and to make sure that it's uh, competing in the second division next season um, in order to try and uh, stabilize the club and get it on the right footing. Yeah. Did you have any contact with the city, with the mayor? Because he's very ambitious and he wants a, a, a club of a first division, European level in, in Antwerp. We're, we're, we're very ambitious as well. And uh, did, did, you, did you talk with the mayor? No, we had informal conversations. But to be honest, those conversations are only going to be applicable 
way further down the line. Right now, you know, the most important thing is to uh, get the club back on a mm -hmm. stable, sound financial footing and uh, going forward. Yeah. Um, when the deal will be, uh, uh, will be made? Um, you'd have to ask Mr. Hoffman. I mean, if he doesn't agree and doesn't accept the terms uh, that would save the club, then uh, obviously it's up to him to answer to whatever's going to happen. Because well, meanwhile, results are very disappointing. Um, the supporters, the fans, won't consider you as the messiah, I suppose. Um, listen, when it comes to football, not an uh, exact science. And uh, regarding the bad results, everyone takes collective responsibility of that, from the players to the coaching staff to myself to the directors, everybody. And uh, apart from the football side of things, the most important thing really is the financial future of the club, nothing else right now. You already have the power because Hasselbank wasn't fired because of you. Um, we, have a, we have a, listen, part of, part of the consortium's agreement originally and still is now and will be applying for the next two years is that we have a sporting veto, mm -hmm. veto yeah. which we can exercise at any time to mm -hmm. do with football related decisions and actions. What are the moves now? We've made the offer either it gets accepted or it doesn't and if it doesn't then we move on with our lives there's no problem and if it doesn't that means that you um you leave the no club? not at all no. it means i'm still fully committed to the club with the group and uh we will do whatever we can to help the club uh on and off the field of course yeah and uh you see the supporters the fans um because you want to give them confidence yeah i mean something i think that's been lacking recently is trust. Trust. Uh, trust is the most important thing, not just in football, in life in general. And uh, I think that once the fans can see that there is transparency, honesty and trust in all the, all the activities and its decision making, I think they will be a lot more patient. I think they've been impatient because they've been misled. Yeah, you, so, want, you want to save the club? No, we have to. Not we want to, we have to save the club. But more importantly, we have to establish a clear channel of communication and get things in the right way. Thank you very much.